Hey guys, it's Hayden from the Corona Crew. I know I've already posted this week, but I want to see if we can do get more subscribers by the end of the week. So today in this video, I am going to be showing you. I'm going to be doing a back handspring tutorial. I am on my trampoline because some of the steps you're going to need to be on a trampoline. So. Well, I guess let's just get started. There is one skill that you will need to have for your back handspring, or for these drills to get your back handspring. You need a back bend. A back bend is just a simple fall back. And there's a, that's a back bend. So, another skill that you might want to have is a back walk. If you do not have a back walkover, we have already posted a video on how to do a back walkover, so you can go check that out. So, I'm just gonna do one back walkover to show you guys. I have to bend my leg because I'm pretty tall and I'm gonna hit the neck. Okay, so now that we've done that, just go into a simple back bend and kick your feet up without going all the way over though. Okay? So you just kick your feet. You go into a back bend, kick your feet up, but don't go over. Just like this. Okay. You can do that about five to ten times. That will help you kick for when you go backwards, it'll help you get your feet up and over for your back handspring. So after you do that a few times, you can start trying to get to a handstand. Just back bend. Okay. Don't go all the way over though. Try and stay in that handstand. Just like that. that about five times too. So, scooch back. All right, so you do that about five times. Now what you are going to do is kind of like a back walkover. You're gonna do a back tensica. No, not a back tensica, sorry. A back limber. A back limber is pretty much a back walkover, but you use two feet instead of one. Just like, it would be like this. Oh, that was really bad. I'll show you that one more time. Okay. Just like that. If you go slower, it helps so you can get that feeling of what you should. Whoa, hold on, my hair is messed up. It helps if you go slower so you can get the feeling of what you should be doing at the back hands. Now, here is a drill that I think that helps. You don't have to arm swing, you can go, just go like this, or you can arm swing, but you need to be able to sit in a chair. So if you ever, if you don't know what a wall sit is, it's where you have your wall and you just sit like you're in a chair against the wall. You do that, just, I'll just show you. So like that. Just do that a few times, because that's what you get into your back handspring. Don't do this. You don't want to do this because then it's going to be kind of hard to open back up. So just do that a few times. Okay. So after you've done that, you, this is another drill that can help. This is a drill that I made up, and I think that it helps me with my back handspring. I sit in a chair and I jump up in an arch position and then hollow back out. I think it helps a lot. This is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. This is one of the drills that you must be on a trampoline to do. You can have a tumble track or a trampoline, but you, can, you should not do this 
on an air track or especially not grass or a wood floor. You do not want to. This will hurt very badly if you land like that. So just do this a few times. Because of the position that you go into a back handspring, it is in that arch. And then once you hit the handstand, you hollow out. So it'll help. Just do that a few times. Let me fix you. Okay. So after you've done that, you can do the back limber again and just keep doing it quicker and quicker. Try and go like this and then pass up and kick over because it helps. So now, please try when please try to do it when you feel ready. If you do not feel ready to do your back handspring, either do these drills a few more times or don't try it at that moment. Because if you don't think you're ready and you hesitate, you can really hurt yourself. But now, the only thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna Sit in a chair, hollow, arch out, hit the handstand, and snap down. But here's another drill that can help you. Go into a handstand, whoa, whoa, hold on. I'm on a trampoline, so it's kind of hard to hold a handstand. Go into a handstand and practice snap. Try and get your chest up before your feet hit the ground like that and keep your arms up like that really pop off your hands and another thing to help with your back handspring is a handstand pop I have to get on the ground for this you can, you cannot do a handstand pop on trampoline so let me just get to the ground really nice outside. It's good lighting. <laughs> Bring you over here. <laughs> Made it to the spot I was supposed to be at. Put you down lower so you can see. A handstand pop is you go into a handstand and you pop your shoulders. And you try and get your hands off the ground. This drill will help if you just pop in the air without going off, but it's not as much as you, if you do. This is a handstand pop. Do that a few times. So, yeah, you have that drill. I'm just gonna go back to my trampoline. Snap down. Whoa, hold on. Let me try that one more time. Sit. Orange. Snap down. Hollow. Okay. I'm just going to do it one more once on the grass. Yeah, this 
this is really good lighting. Open. Okay. Go back. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped you get your back handspring. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you know every time we post. Bye!